Crush him! Ghostbuster has been knocked on the Eradicator! Oh, baby! That's gonna leave a mark! Crush him! going to get his face plastered all over the school bulletin board. <laughs> pretty, pretty. Back in town. <laughs> Time for this old cow poke to be uh, moseying out of Dodge. Yellow Belly. What's going on, Lucian? Alien visitation. Mother dear! Bring it in here, <gasps> gentlemen! It's my favorite chair, so please be careful with it, won't you? I've just come to rub it for a few nights in the bosom of my loving family. <laughs> It's a rental, not a gift. So please, try not to damage it. I just brought it to test whether there's an ounce of talent or culture in my charming grandchildren. Ha! It's just like the ones they have at the Salzburg Opera House. Oh, hands what? off! <laughs> this thing's blocking the TV! Mother, it's so nice of you to visit again. Oh, look, a television. The very enemy of culture. It, 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 it uh, came with the house. <laughs> we just keep it for the opera. <laughs> Come on, boys. Give Grandma a great big kiss to show how much you missed her. My boys just love their grandma. Oh, oh, Is that your father over there? I'm surprised he hasn't prattled on and on about his adventures in the Wild West by now. He's remarkably quiet. Oh, no, that's... Just Tony, he's... My goodness, what has she been feeding you? Poor mm. man. Now, take my bags up to the master bedroom, children. Move! <laughs> I want you both to be on your best behavior during Grandma's visit. Because if she has trouble with you, you'll have trouble with me. And Tony, since it seems you're going to be Mr. Cram, we're going to have to fix you up. Come along! Well, now let's review. The soup was much too watery, the roast was far too salty, and these vegetables aren't nearly mushy enough. No wonder you've lost so much weight. Nice outfit, Pops! <laughs> You'll pay for that, Bob Brett! Wayne, what are you doing? Put your father down this instant! What kind of values do they teach you in this household, young man? In my day, father bashing was a crime! Yeah, maybe you should punish him, Dad. Good idea, son. Wayne, I think it's high time you learned a little respect for your elders. <laughs> my, such a forceful nature and deep, powerful voice. And to think how spineless and embarrassing you used to be. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Oh, why, it's 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 the, 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 the piano teacher. The what? The piano teacher. Come to teach the boys how to play Grandma's piano. You remember my husband, don't you, Maestro? Howdy, partner. Y your husband? And this is my mother. And these are Wayne and Lucian, your new students. They're very eager to learn. Supper? But I don't know a thing about the piano. Of course. 
not this one. This is a very special one. But it's just like all the other pianos you've played. You look awfully familiar. Yes, of course he looks familiar, Mother. You probably saw him with the Philharmonic. <laughs> Why don't you just review the basics, Maestro? But, Mom, I already know the basics. I took piano in school. You can never know the basics well enough, Lucian. Isn't that right, Maestro? No, the basics. Well, sure. Well, <clears throat> this is uh, the piano. You've got your uh, your legs here, <laughs> and your your white keys, and your black keys. You see? <laughs> uh, what's the difference, Mister Maestro? Well, the the difference. Uh, well, uh, the difference is uh, uh, the color, of course. <laughs> the man's a moron. Get rid of him. Oh, all right. Certainly, Mother. Off you go, Maestro. Thanks so much. Uh, what? Uh, what? Huh? Well, that was interesting. Shall we tell old family stories now? Huh? <laughs> I think I've heard quite enough about the family for today. I'm going to sleep. That's an excellent idea. You, you should get plenty of rest, Mother. Good night, Mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, that went better than I expected. Oh, handcrafted by handicraft persons. I am not worthy of you. <gasps> oh, no! Your father! Ah! That stupid piano teacher's in my bed! I'm not a piano teacher! No kidding! You stink! This is my bed! Tell her! Get out, you horrid intruder! Out! Yeah. Honey! Help! Help! Uh, uh, what, uh, what are you honey. doing? No wonder your children are so ill-mannered. All I want is to sleep and get this weekend over with. So try not to disturb me. Sweet dreams, Mother. You heard Grandma. Make sure you boys don't disturb her. Now I have to go clean. Oh, yes, cleaning will help. <laughs> I explained everything to Dad. He said he's happy to spend the night in the shed. Well, Grandma can't sleep. She says she forgot to bring her lullaby music box, and she can't sleep without music. Really? Well, then that's my cue. <laughs> this is Brahms' lullaby. Enjoy. I can't even get one night's sleep! I'm leaving! Now! Will someone pack my bags? Yes, Mother. No, Mom! Happy Father's Day, Pops! I wrote a song just for you! <laughs> Visit I've ever had. You children are undisciplined and uncultured terrors. Your mother's cooking was atrocious, and her house is a total mess. <gasps> it, mother. You can criticize my family and you can criticize my cooking, but my house is not a mess. And I don't care how they did things in your day. This is my day. That's nice, dear. What's that sound? <laughs> no, no, Grandma. It wasn't my idea. That song is so beautiful, so passionate, so powerful. Ah! Yeah. Perhaps there's hope for this family after all. This is unreal. I'm the cultured one. Thanks to Wayne, I've decided to stay here after all. How wonderful, Mother. And I want Wayne to play for me every day. <laughs> oh, ouch! <sighs> so, so, 
soapy bubbles, soapy bubbles, bubbles all the way. Getting clean inside and out. Oh, look, Wayne. All the trees have turned into cakes. <gasps> Let me see. Let me oh. see. <laughs> Dumb as dirt. Lucian, look. A little family of pink mice is lost in the soap flakes. Nice try, Mom. But I'm not going out in that stuff. It's polluted. But it's pure soap, Lucian. How about money? Sold. <laughs> I'm hungry. I want the biggest. No, we should get the bite size. More variety, better value. Biggest! I say bite size, and I've got the money. Not anymore. Ugh. Gimme! No! Let go! No! Wait! <laughs> Anything like this back home. And thank goodness for that, eh? It's unnatural. What are you looking at? Oh, they're just normal kids. <laughs> they're not normal kids. They're soap kids. Maybe we can get them to show us around. I'll bet this little waif could show us a thing or two for a little spare change. Waif? Spare change? Hi, I'm Wayne. I know lots. Hi, I'm Lucian, and I'm gone. Oh, well, hi, you, Wayne. What's his problem? He's a big girl pants. Girl pants? <laughs> now, this is the mysterious, amazing orange geyser of Soap City. The world's uh, orangest geyser. I want to swim in it. <laughs> oh, hey, what are you doing? Don't those signs mean it's dangerous? Oh, you think? Of course I think. I'll bet you never swim in there. Nah, we just throw in metal stuff. Cool, let me see. Hey, that's good money. Oh, all righty. Let's just see what happens to these coins. Go on, son. What are you waiting for? There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Hi, Tony. You want to hear something disgusting? Sure. Wayne is guiding tourists around Soap City for money. Hmm? Let's not loose a soap avalanche on them. That sounds like fun, but I gotta help get these flakes off the garden before they kill everything. Uh, yeah, and those tourists think it's all so pretty and charming. Oh, if only they knew the truth. Well, why don't you go tell them? <laughs> Me? It's your duty. You're right. The truth. So much more informative than an avalanche. Achoo! Now, if you dip your toes in this incredible magic stream, your nails will turn pink. I've done it. Really? That's so neat, eh? That is so cool. Now, how do I get it off? You can't. It's the girl pants, eh? Girl pants? <laughs> Wayne, uh, at the 
donut shop. Donut the size of a basketball. Exploded. The guy almost got killed. Guts and huh? jelly all over the place. Where, where? Show me, show me. <laughs> hey, now, what about our tour? Don't worry about your tour, my good man. I shall give you a tour that will knock your eyes out. <laughs> now this is the mansion of Walter Winkle, President, Chief Executive Officer, and Grand Bubba of the Hashcam Corporation. Oh, it's just a big fat hose. And there he is. <laughs> it's just a big fat guy, eh? <laughs> You'll notice this rat never leaves his hole during one of these storms of pollution, for which he is responsible. Achoo! 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 Tony! Achoo! Hey, it's a weird little guy. And what are you doing here? Special delivery for Mr. Winkle. Swab stuff. Achoo! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the effect of Mr. Winkle's wicked work. He's a mutant, eh? I meant the sneezing and the red circles. He's allergic to these flakes. Aww, he's real cute for a mutation, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I seen a guts and jelly and the almost killed guy. Ah, oh, sorry, kid. All I got is donuts. Oh, I bet that's an exploding one. You want it? I'll give it to you for half price. Cool! I'll get the money. Don't sell it to anyone else. I really don't think I could. <sighs> and here you see the source of all the ecological mischief in this town. The Hashcam Soap Factory! I want to see the little mutant guy again. The poisons it is emitting may seem colorful and charming to you, but believe me... Green's back! All right! Yay! All right! <laughs> Beat it, girl pants! No one cares! Yeah, beat it, girl pants. <laughs> Here's where the little mutant lives. He's a swamp person. They're total cavemen. They don't go to school, and they eat swamp crud like slugs and toadstools. Ew. And there he is. Oh, want to hear him talk froggy talk? Hey, shrimp boy, say something froggy. He's not some creature in a zoo, you know. He's my friend. I'm not a mutant. <laughs> I'm not a mutant. I warned you people, this stuff is toxic. Families who work for Haskem develop immunity, but swamp folk and out-of-towners have none. Oh, now what do you mean, immunity? It doesn't say anything about that in the guidebook. What are we supposed to do? Not my fault. Tough! I knew this place was awful. We're gonna die. Worry not, madam. It is not fatal. But your only hope for relief is a swamp remedy. Mrs. Parsons, don't you have something for this? Oh, whatever it costs. Oh, we don't have much luck with money. You can give that to my son's friend. Oh, but there is something. Now, a dab of that on your foreheads every hour for a week. And you'll be good as grass. Oh, great. Now let's get out of this dump. <laughs> yeah, this dump reeks, eh? <laughs> I want to go to Weasel World. Hey, what about my money? Forget it, kid. You're lucky we're not suing you. <laughs> hey, give that back. Doing. That was my money. Well, it's my donut. Mine. 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 